Nebraska's defensive line might be one of the best in the country, yet there's a name that keeps popping up in fall practice who might be one of the best all time. Yes, I said all time. Keona Davis is a name that's been repeated multiple times from coaches, players, and media members. So in today's video, I'm going to answer the question, is the hype worth it and what can we expect from him in 2024 so really quick before i dive into this player make sure to hit that like button if you're excited about watching this black shirt defense this year i know i am and hey if you're new to the channel or just a returning viewer make sure to subscribe i post daily talking nebraska football and you're not going to want to miss out on what i have planned this fall so join the best husker family on youtube and subscribe it would help me out greatly but Without further ado, let's get into it. Talking about Keon Davis and his performance so far in fall practice. Well, another interview dropped yesterday and another day, another Keon Davis reference. So a lot of times I listen to these coaching interviews when they interview Tony White, um, Terrence Knighton, of course, Matt Rule, Marcus Satterfield. But I don't really listen to player interviews. They'll tell you a nugget here or there, but a lot of it... It's a bunch of non sequiturs, except for yesterday. They interviewed James Williams, a member of this defensive line, and he name-dropped Keona Davis. He said this, Keona Davis, you will hear his name soon. He is really good. He will be the next big thing. I can't ignore that quote because I keep hearing similar things about his performance in fall practice, in the open practice last week, and even Terrace Knight, he said... A week ago, when he leaves here, referring to Keone Davis, he will look like 93 he used to play here, referring to Ndamukong Su. Now, I don't know about you, but there's not many true freshmen who walk into Lincoln in a matter of one or two months and are automatically compared to the best defensive lineman to ever play in college football. Okay, That's high praise. Terrence Knight later went on to talk about his work ethic and how Keon Davis is constantly working hard. He's putting on a weight. He's doing all the right things. I mean, this is ridiculous. We don't hear stuff about true freshmen like this, right? Vich and Shavers was hyped up all spring and fall long. He's going to be awesome. And yet, we didn't even hear this amount of praise for him. Like, Keon Davis is clearly on a different level right now. Hey, okay, he's 6'5", 255. When I was watching him on film a couple months ago, when he flipped... Um, to Nebraska from Washington, he was a freak athlete, a guy who runs about a 4'6", at that height, at that speed, um, had 60 set tackles in his senior year, 19 TFLs, and 8 sacks, and along with that, he had 4 PBUs and an INT that he took back 75 yards, I mean, that just tells you how much of a freak athlete he is, so he's twitchy, he has an explosiveness on the line scrimmage, it's just about putting on weight when it comes to him, but I mean, this is ridiculous. The hype we're hearing about this guy, the fact that he's getting comparisons to Ndamukong Su, that whenever a player is talking about breakouts on this D-line, Keona Davis is always name-dropped. I mean, the hype is there. The hype is real. Okay? And a lot of times, these players and these coaches, they don't want to name-drop too much because they don't want to give away what they have. But sometimes they'll have a player slip through the cracks because they're just so excited. Keona Davis is that guy. Now, what's interesting that we have to talk about when it comes to Keona Davis is the defensive line itself. And will he even play this year? Because it's a stacked defensive line. Not only do you have a great starting three in Jamari Butler, Ty Robinson, Nash Hutmucker, okay, but the reason why it is the best in the country, and I truly believe that, it's because of its depth. You have Cameron Lenhart off the bench, Riley Van Poppel, Elijah Judy, James Williams, Kai Wallen, Sua Lafodu, who has been underrated his entire career here in Nebraska. He's going to play this year. Okay, I just named six guys for you, including not including our starting three. That's nine players I'd feel comfortable starting on this D-line. Like That should get you hyped up. And that's not even mentioning Keona Davis. So it's a stacked defensive line. And I also mentioned David Hopkins in that room, stud player from Germany who's 22 years old. So Keona Davis, he has a lot of guys to beat out, but I'll tell you this. Matt Rule, one theme about his tenure so far in Nebraska, he said he never keeps town on the sideline. And he showed you that last year. Multiple players were not redshirted. Guys like Riley Van Poppel got in the game on the defensive line. Okay, Sua Lafodu got in the game on the defensive line as a true freshman. Okay, of course, Cam Lenhart and Prince Will Uman Mielum got in the game and had their red shirts burned. He gets talent on the field. If Keona Davis is as good as everybody's saying, 
he will absolutely play. Now, here's my thing about Kiona is that I truly believe he's a three technique. I'm not sure if they want to figure him out at nose tackle, but he isn't big enough right now. Yeah, he's 255. He needs to get up probably to that 270 range, 265 range uh, to be a true three technique. But the fact that he's already got up there to 255, it's a big transition from where he was in high school. This guy's the real deal. I mean, I'm so excited. Like, I, I try to tell people this. Yeah, we love Ty Robinson. We love Nash. We love Jamari Butler. I'm honestly more excited about this depth because that's something we haven't had. We've had good players on the D-line before. We haven't had depth. Holy cow. We have guys on this D-line that are awesome who aren't even starting. It, it gives you so many more options as a defensive coordinator, as a defensive line coach, because you can put in situational pass rushers. You can make a bunch of new blitz concepts. And honestly, you don't even have to blitz. If you feel that confident about your defensive line, you can rush three and still get pressure. That's a luxury in college football. So that's why I try to tell people about this defensive line is that not only are these starters good, not only is Keona Davis very good as a true freshman, you guys, guys like Willis McGahee, who is also very good as a true freshman, but it's just incredibly deep. So Keona Davis is going to be a ball player. Listen, my prediction for him this year, I think he'll rotate in the game. Probably won't have his red shirt burned just because of how deep this room is. You don't want to really burn a year off of him for no reason. Okay, you have a bunch of other guys you feel comfort, confident in. But with that being said, he'll get in the game, expect reps from him in the UTEP game, Northern Iowa game as the year progresses. And he's a guy that, if he's as good as advertised, if Terrence Knight and Tony White, James Williams, they're, they're not lying to you, and I don't think they are, then he will be a stud for you for years to come. I like we, we love this defensive line right now, okay? But next year, it might just be better. Like, is that crazy to say? It might just be better next year. Because next year, your starters are going to be probably Riley Van Poppel inside, Cameron Lenhart inside, James Williams on that three technique, and you continue to develop this depth. Kiona Wilhite or Kiona Davis is going to potentially fight for a starting rep. I, you should get pumped up. You should get pumped up about the future of this, this defensive line. And one last thing I want to say in this video. Give your flowers to Terrence Knight in right now. Because this is a guy that, honestly, I've had my dads about him. I love pot roast. I grew up and I still am a Commanders fan. He used to play for Washington in the NFL. So I've been familiar with him for a long time. But I was worried about how he would transition to college football uh, and coaching. And he has been phenomenal. He might just be the best positional coach on our team. That's saying a lot. Terrence Stein has been great. He's developing guys on an elite level. This defensive line is going to be phenomenal. Keona Davis is next up. So Sua Lafoto is next up. I, I haven't made a video about him, but holy cow, you should get hyped up about the, that uh, nose tackle. And just get ready, guys. We're, what, one week, two weeks away? And, uh, man, it's going to be fun to watch this team against UTEP. All right, guys, let me know. Are you excited about this defensive line? Are you excited about Keona Davis? Let me know in the comment section below. And, hey, if you made this far in the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And as always, folks, go big red, go Matt Rule, and see you in the next one.